Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan, I'm the head falconer and owner of Owl Adventures. We're a mobile bird of prey and exotic animal business. And this month we turn 10 years old. Yes, 10 years have come and gone now and we're looking forward to the next 10 years and possibly more. But in this video, I'm going to go over some of the highlights of the last 10 years and we've got some contributions from some past team members as well. So it all started for me when I worked at Lightwater Valley Bird of Prey Centre, a little centre that actually isn't there anymore, but I was oftenly there working at weekends and during the school holidays, helping out with the flying shows, looking after the birds, and I just fell in love with it. I just fell in love with working with birds of prey, with the owls and the hawks. There was Daisy, the big African vulture, who I used to show off to people in the displays there as well. And it was just magnificent, and I just loved going every time, was learning so much. And it was all thanks to Stuart Laidler, the guy who got me into it in the first place. I'm still in contact with him now. And in 2011, I started my own little bird of prey business with a few school visits and a few little displays and I really quickly realized how much it would grow and that was when I first met Millie the first team member who came and worked for me for a number of years and here's the message she recently sent me happy 10 years of our adventures I can't believe it's been 10 years since um, I first met Ryan and the birds what a brilliant journey to be on. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure to work with the birds and all the volunteers and staff. It's been wonderful. So here's to the next 10 years, Ryan. Um, my favorite bird has got to be Sky the Barn Owl. She's absolutely beautiful and she helped fundraise a lot of money to get me to Madagascar with some of my course mates at uni and for our wild left degree. Uh, favorite moment, probably, it's not bird related but something that always sticks in my head when we had the birds near the Yorvik Centre Ryan had gone for his dinner or the toilet or something and uh, when he came back the these two young lads had planted a carrot under the tree and I said oh I've just seen two lads plant a carrot under the tree do you think when we come back next year there'll be a carrot tree here still waiting for that to grow but um, yeah, it's been it's brilliant. Ryan's one of the best bosses I've ever had. Um, thanks for the twenty quid, Ryan, for saying that. You didn't have to. I'd have done it for ten. But um, yeah, thank you for having me as part of the journey. As you can see, I'm still a scruffy animal lady, working in vets at the moment, and I also enjoy doing stand-up comedy. So who knows? Maybe I'll write some owl material. But I'll probably leave out the worst joke that everybody says to you when you work with birds. What's the most common bird in the UK? The tea towel. <sighs> and a little dating tip, my now husband, the first photo that he ever saw of me was me face swapped with an owl. And I can't tell if it's weird that I face swapped myself with an owl or if he still asked me out after seeing that. But yeah, little dating tip. <laughs> Thanks a lot for having me. Good luck with the next 10 years. Oh, I love that message that Millie sent. Thank you, Millie. It's brilliant because Millie, like many of the team members, has been such a joy to work with. We've had so much fun working together and there were just countless stories and times we've been laughing about things whilst working with the animals. And that really is the essence of what we do. We're outside in the fresh air, among the trees, uh, among the wildlife. We're working with great people, with members of the public who are really interested to learn about birds of prey and we get to play with owls and hawks and <laughs> other birds of prey all day so really very privileged to be doing what we do so there have been lots of different highlights over the last 10 years including lots of different flying shows lots of school visits we've built up actually quite a good diary now of events we go to every year like the Ilkley Carnival like Wakefield Armed Forces Day, the York Proms, Farmer Copley's Pumpkin Festival and many, many more. And it's nice to have that seasonal rotation of events and take the birds to different places, take our snakes and other reptiles to different venues and show them off and educate people. 
And when it comes to team members, both volunteers and staff members, we've had many come and go over the years. Some just do a few days, some do a few years or more. And this next message is from Connor, who, like a few of the different volunteers who have helped me over the years, has now got his own bird of prey. Hi, my name is Connor. And one of my favourite memories of working with Al Adventures was doing a flying show at Hillsborough Stadium in front of what was, I believe, to be 45,000 people. It was a very daunting task, but it was also amazing at the same time. And another thing that's amazing about working with Al Adventures is it's what got me into falconry in the first place. And it ended up with me owning a Harry Stock of my own. This is Bella. She's 21 years old, and she's definitely not camera shy, as you can tell. <laughs> So I'd like to give my personal thanks to Ryan for introducing me to such a fantastic lifestyle with these birds of prey. Oh, thanks, Connor, for that. And yes, we did have an amazing day there. And I had a call to attend the first match of the season at Sheffield Wednesday, and we went round the stadium taking a close look at some different owls. And then, of course, we flew Ollie, our eagle owl, across the pitch. So that was a really magnificent event with so many people there and Ollie flew across the pitch back and forth a number of times really well. In fact, I only just got off the pitch just as the sprinklers started to shoot out as well. We've done other things at big audiences too, namely some of the radio and TV work. The highlight being being on the one show back in October 2015. I was sat there talking to Angelica Bell and Alex about the different species of owls in Britain and the celebrity guests behind where they're holding the birds. I'm really pleased it went really well and the producers are really happy with me as well. And it's funny some of these little odd miscellaneous things that come up. Like the weddings we do, we have the Barn Owl Ring Bearer Service, where the Barn Owl delivers rings down the aisle to the best man as a surprise for the guests. We've been doing that for over 10 years. And we also provide handling and flying shows at the weddings sometimes too. And I've even done a couple of rather miscellaneous weddings, like for example uh, Hyde Park in London, where we actually did a proposal with one of the Barn Owls, where I pretended I'd lost my owl and maybe this young lady who was with her partner at the time would be able to call the owl down, put the glove on and let's see if it appears. And of course, I had someone there waiting with the owl around the corner. The owl flew to her hand. There was the engagement ring attached and the gentleman was on his knee. So it's amazing some of the random things that can pop up in this line of work and look out on this YouTube channel I'm going to do a video uh, very soon just about some of the funny stories we've had with so many little funny stories to do with things we've been doing with me flying birds or sort of, sort of customers reacting in various ways and and that kind of thing so do keep an eye on it. it should be rather amusing now over the years I've had various different birds that I've trained to fly, that I've hand reared and someone who highlights this in their message is Emily who sent me this video just recently. I was a volunteer in York for a year in 2015 and I learnt so much about so many different species and about the birds as individuals with their personalities. I loved being outdoors with them, getting to see them fly free and come to me. Um, even when it rained and no one was around, a day spent with the birds was one well spent. But the most special part was getting to see a baby barn owl grow from hatching. Um, they're kind of ugly, but so, so cute. And the bond I got to form with her, spending time with her nearly every day, was just precious. Oh, thank you, Emily, for that message. That's wonderful. Emily did happen to have a pet leopard gecko for a little while called Spyro. And one day she said to me, Ryan, could you look after it for a little bit? Because my landlord's coming to inspect and I, I haven't asked him if I can have a pet reptile or anything else. So I looked after it for a while. But since then, Emily has gone and travelled the world. She's been to India and Europe and worked abroad and moved on to much bigger and better things. So I ended up keeping Spyro, who only passed away about six months ago after reaching a stunning age of 13 years. Leopard geckos have a lifespan of 10 years at best normally. So she did really well, that particular gecko, and we went on to use that gecko in school visits and other educational work. Now, the last video contribution from a team member is Alan, who's been working now with us for about two years and still is. And here he is talking about his experience working at Owl Adventures. 
Hello, I'm Alan. I've been with uh, Owl Adventures for coming up to two years now. Uh, this is Ollie, who's sat on my hand at the moment, not paying attention. Um, and I love this place. It's uh, I came here in not the best of health, and it's uh, it's improved my health mentally anyway, to no extent. Um, and I really enjoy it. Um, there's been a few moments that I've, we've had here. Um, one of our Harry Socks, for example, called Roland. He's, uh, he's taken the odd pigeon or two from here as well, which we don't encourage, but uh, unfortunately we can't help it. We also have a falcon called Gulliver. Um, Ryan flew him once, on the first occasion I think that uh, I'd seen Gulliver fly, and uh, in the gardens freely around here, like most of the birds do. Um, and he decided that he wanted to go and explore York, so he went for a fly around, um, and Ryan had to go and find him following his GPS tracking system and it was a good hike right across the city and you had to go and uh, say to someone, knock on the door, can I have my bird back please? And there was Gulliver sat in the tree in this person's garden and he came to him straight away apparently. Um, but yes, there are some funny moments as well as the serious stuff as well. But it's all for a good cause and as you can see, Ollie here, he loves it. So there you have it, 10 years of owl adventures and we're looking forward to seeing what the future brings with our flying shows, our school visits, our birds at weddings and our exotic animal displays and much more. So I'm going to leave you with a little picture collage of some of the highlights of the last 10 years of owl adventures. Thanks for watching and enjoy.